here's the fucking, this is what I love. This is what I wait for. I'm not like trying to exploit people, but we were skating this spot and this woman was like, you want to see my tits? And we turned around and I was like, I got one picture and there's, there it is. <laughs> right place at the right time shit. ideas, which I don't know if I'll actually get that cool of photos as I imagine, is this shit, New York City. It's fucking garbage everywhere, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this is tame, but like, the most expensive, glamorous city and it's just fucking trash. I've been like trying to go out like on the weekend, summer at night, you know, and like, there's like this with like fucking mini skirts and high heels. I'm like, I use it to try to become more observant too. So I'm like waiting for something. I know I love photos that are like, I can't believe someone got that. Like I like real shit, you know what I mean? Like right place at the right time. This is the 35, like, it's just like the lightest lens. The reason I actually wanted to get this is because of how quiet it is too. Oh, yeah. You can like sneak, get some good sneak ones. So this isn't gonna be here forever. Or maybe it will be. I think these things never go out of fashion. I also go to this dark room in Bushwick and it's super DIY and it's fun. It's like cheap and kind of a mess in there, but like you can go in there and like print all day. And uh, I mean, getting into like printing, I kind of had to Google how to do it again, but it worked out, man. And it's fucking, there's nothing else like it. Like it's, a pain in the ass because it takes a lot of time but when you see the picture finally come out it's fun it's so worth it yeah like this this is uh gone's <laughs> boneless thing here in downtown you know the courthouse and this is what's cool about darkroom printing you can get the fucking like the film edges and so this one was fun this one turned out nice of louis and haslam on a train, one of those Soviet trains in Ukraine, like bunk beds <laughs> that we lived on for overnight train. Shit like that, like I would totally forget that experience if I didn't have this, you know what I mean? Yeah. For sure. Like there's a fucking big Russian beer. Yeah, a lot of downtime, pre-internet, fucking cell phones. This was over 10 years ago. Mark drew on this one for me. I printed this one on Gans and he drew on it. <laughs> It's him using his computer on top of a truck. I don't know why. He was filming with his computer because this was before he had an iPad that he could film with. So now he just runs around filming on an iPad. I like this photo a lot. The zine I made, like I'll put this as a little gift in it like when I give it to people. And this was like one of my favorite photos. This dude's fucking amazing. Peter Beard. His shit's fucking rad. Like, I don't know. He did like a lot of photos in Africa, and this is all like blood. <laughs> like he would, he's fucking nuts. Like and this was back in like the 50s or something. So he spent, his, he lived in, in New York and then spent part of his time in Kenya. And he like he fucking shot some epic stuff. And then there's like Mick Jagger and shit, and like Grace Jones, I don't know, models. <laughs> this dude's fucking awesome. So I just started making zines and that's been fun. That's kind of what I want to do from now on. I mean, as a skater too, I'd be psyched to see what like a skater's interested in, you know, outside. Like I would buy a BA book of his paintings if he made that, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Like I respect these people on a level outside of skating. This one's from a trip. This is like this trip I did with Patrick Walner around Kazakhstan, which is fucking bizarre place and like super photogenic, like, uh, this is the fucking janitor who was just cleaning a spot. And was, you'll skate the fucking marble edge there and this dude's sweeping the ground. Uh, this is funny too. There's like a fun game of like shooting Uzis, <laughs> you know, like on a date. On this trip I had the idea like, fuck, I shot 20 rolls of film, I'm gonna try to make a little thing out of it, you know? I wanna keep putting out zines because it's super fun.